In this video, I want to show you how to make a, a document library in SharePoint so that you have to check out a document before you can edit it. One of the, uh, SharePoint's great uh, properties is that you can make a document be checked out so that only one person can edit that document at a time. Here's a pretty typical document library in SharePoint. Right now, I can just click on that address document, which is an Excel file. And now it'll open up an Excel online. Now I can just say edit workbook and I'll say edit either in Excel or edit in browser, which is the online version. I'll say edit in Excel. Now it's going to bring that up into Microsoft Excel. And now at this point, I can just pick on edit workbook and it lets me do that. Right now, I don't have to check the document out. I can make my changes. Maybe I'll change that to uh, 1, 5 instead of 1, 2. Or 5, 3 is fine. Now I'll save that. And it actually saves it back to the SharePoint folder. So let's see how we're going to make it so they have to check out that document first. Let me close out of Excel. And we'll go back into uh, Excel online. And I'll close this window also, and we're back to our document library. I'll pick on Project Docs. And you can see how the document was actually changed a couple seconds ago, and you, you watched me do it. So what you have to do is you have to go into the library settings. Now, what we're looking at right now is Classic View, which uh, applied in SharePoint 2013 and 2010. And if you go into Classic View in, in 2016, it applies there also. But then in a couple minutes, I'll show you how to do it in the new style as well. So I'll pick in the word library, uh, like I'm in the document library, then I'll pick in the library tab up there. And then you go into what we call the library settings over here. Now, in the library settings, you're going to pick on one that's called versioning settings. Now, in the versioning settings, you, you can also turn on the versions, by the way. We'll have another video that talks about more about the, um, the SharePoint versions. But that is a way to turn the versionings on right there. But you're going to scroll down and you click over here. You say required documents to be checked out before they can be edited. And you say yes. And you click on OK. That'll save that. So you go into the uh, library settings. Then we picked on versioning settings. Then on that window, you pick on the bottom choice and you say yes there. Let's see what this really means. I'm going to pick where it says project docs. And we're back to the library. Now I'll click on that same document. It'll still bring me to Excel online or Word Online, or PowerPoint, whatever you were working with. Now I'll pick on Edit Workbook, and I'll pick on Edit in Excel again. And it's going to open up Microsoft Excel. Now notice this time when we go into Excel, it says I have to check out the document before I can edit it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick on the word checkout. Now, when I check out that document, only one person can edit that document at a time, and that's the whole person. That's the whole point of checking it out. Now, why I have this document checked out, I want to go back to SharePoint for a second. And I'll go back to the SharePoint folder. And I'll go back to the uh, product, Project Docs library. Now, in SharePoint 2016, uh, if I move the mouse and hover over that little icon right there, then it'll tell me who has it checked out at that time. So you can see if it's very, very subtle, notice how that document has a little uh, arrow and that tells you that it's checked out. Well, in a couple minutes, I'm going to show you how to just um, put the, the person over here who has it checked out. But right now you can just move your mouse over there at, on, the, on that little icon and it'll tell you who has it checked out. So at this point, I'll go back to Excel. And I'll make a change here. Again, I'll change this one to like 75, whatever the change is going to be. Now, when I go to um, 
say I can save it, of course. I still have it checked out until I check it back in. Now, right from this screen, I, I can pick on file. I can pick on file and then I can check it in here. So when I'm done with it, I want to save it and I want to check it in so that other people can get to that document. Here's where the, the versions come in. So I'll type in um, made a change to the phone number. So usually you would type in something to describe what you changed within that version. I'm going to click on OK. Now notice how it saved it back to SharePoint. And now, now see, right now I'd have to check it out again. Now if I go back to uh, SharePoint, notice how uh, I'm going to do a refresh here. And at this point, we'll see that the document is no longer checked out, but it has been changed. All right, so we had to turn the checkout feature uh, on in the, uh, the library settings. Now, let me show you a way to display who has it checked out, even on this screen. I'm going to pick on the word library. I'll pick on the word library. And I'll pick in the word uh, library settings again. Actually, we don't need to do this. Uh, I'm going to go back. Uh, so I'll go back into the project docs. And I, I want to see who has that document checked out without even having to go and click on that icon like I did before. So we're just going to change this view. I'll pick on the, the library uh, tab and you come over here and I'll say modify view. And at this point, it's going to open up another window. And now you can pick and choose which columns that you want to display. Notice how there is a column that's called checked out too. All right, so that'll actually display that person right on that screen. So I'm gonna to go to the view, I'll pick in this box that says checked out too, and you can check out some of the other fields as well. We'll have another uh, video later on about this screen. This is called SharePoint Views, and you can do a lot with those. We'll have another video about later on. Okay, good. So now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick in the address document. And now this time, I'm just going to edit it from Excel online. Since that screen is already open. Uh, actually, uh, I'll pick on uh, Excel, the regular Excel. It's going to go back to Excel for me, and I'm going to check it out again. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to SharePoint and let's see if it's going to display on that screen. So I'll go back to the project docs. And notice how we have a new column that says checked out to and we have uh, the person who checked it out. So that kind of gives you a quick view of, uh, of who has that document checked out instead of having to go over and click on that icon. If you have a lot of documents in that folder, you would have to do that for each one. Here, it's just being displayed. So as you saw, I changed the view. Now let's see how we would do the same thing in the new style of SharePoint. So I'm going to come over here to a, a different document library that's called Team Docs. And in Team Docs, I'm going to go get that same document so I can show you the same kind of thing. So I'll pick on Upload, pick on a file. I'll pick in that same address file just to show you this example. Okay, good. Now, notice how we have the new style of SharePoint, SharePoint 2016. Notice how I don't have the library tab over here anymore. Here's how to get the library settings now. You come over here and you pick on the settings wheel. I pick on the settings wheel. Then you pick on library settings from there. Okay, then I'll pick it. Now this screen is the same. So I'll pick on versioning settings. And I'm going to scroll down and make sure it is checked where it says required documents to be checked out right there. 
All right, so I'll say yes there. I'll click on OK. Good. Now let's go back to that Team Docs folder. And once again, I want to change this view. Now to change the view on this screen, we're going to click on this. Um, uh, here we have a, a here we have um, the the setting that I just showed you. Now in this case, let me put it back into um, into the new view for a second. I'll pick on the settings wheel. No, I'll pick on the library tab, and I'll pick on the uh, library settings. This is how to go back and forth between classic view and the new view, what I'm about to show you. You'll pick on the advanced settings within the library settings. When you're on the advanced settings screen, there's probably some other choices that you want to take a look at, but look at the bottom one. It says display this as the new experience or the classic experience. So I'll pick a new experience again. All right, and I'll pick on a team docs again. Now, if you do have it the new way, let me show you how you would change the view on this screen. So uh, I'm going to click on we're going to cl uh, click on the three dots, and I'll say modify the view. So it's going to be a little bit different in the new style, as you can see. Then this screen should be pretty much the same, and I'll pick where it says checked out to. And I'll click on OK. And we'll notice now that the checked out to is on this screen as well. So I showed you how to make a library so that it has to be checked out. The documents have to be checked out. I showed you how the checkout process works. And then I showed you how you can display how to, uh, who has that document checked out, either in uh, SharePoint 2016, 2013, or 2010.